The roots of the word regeneration draw from the late 14th century Latin regenerare, which means to give birth to something, to bring forth to life, to restore, to replenish. A easier way to grasp its meaning is to look at nature. When a tree falls in a forest, it will start to decompose. The many insects and the microorganisms will accelerate its decomposition, and by that the tree becomes a rich source of nutrients for the surrounding soil, giving birth to new plant life. Also, the fallen tree becomes a new habitat for the insects, birds and small mammals in the area. This self-feeding, self-renewing natural systems allow the forest to regenerate, to maintain its diversity and flourish over long periods of time. Just like nature, our core organizing systems in our society can become regenerative. But where are we on this development timeline? Well, on average, somewhere in the middle, with less companies on the conventional side causing landscape degradation and intentionally building products usable only for a short time to push more sales volumes. Currently, more businesses are entering the sustainability or do no further harm stage, which demands from them carbon neutrality, zero deforestation, and also integrating in the product's life cycle reusability and recyclability. Moving to the regenerative stage of development will imply businesses to think beyond net zero and just like nature, design the existence in this world for net positive by giving more to the community in place, restoring the landscapes and also developing products around real problems that are meant to last. To dive deeper into the concept of regeneration, you might want to check resources of Daniel Christian Va, Laura Storm, John Fullerton, Carol Sanford that are frontrunners and thanks to whom the concept and the term is gaining popularity.